Und da bin ich auch schon wieder bei Folge 3. Mit Sash the Dash und The Walking Dead. Wir sind auf Herschels Farm und sollen mit jedem reden. Hey there, girls. Dann fangen wir doch mal an. Die zwei you seht ihr ganz entspannt aus. Relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. <coughs> people don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Katja hat erfahren, dass du deine Arbeit verloren hast. How did you handle getting through the city? In der Stadt? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be problems, you know. <clears throat> Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Clementine? Clementine Lynn? Yeah. And what I get? Then I here. It seems like an all Kenny. right dude. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? For. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. <clears throat> on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. <coughs> You'll figure it out. See you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Seems like those two are getting along. What's haben wir denn hier noch? In der schönen Idylle. Idyllischer Bauernhof. Und drumherum sind leider Zombies. 
Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <clears throat> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Kind of hey, man. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Kein Problem, Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. <clears throat> I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes, it's kill. Be kill. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. <coughs> That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Kein Problem, Johnny Boy. <coughs> and Sean, thanks again for the ride. Yeah. No problem, Lee. <coughs> I'll leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Der misstrauische Kerl. How'd you get Fun out of that just, yeah. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <clears throat> Never was a plan. Having a place like this, it was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon. My parents live in Macon. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? She was angry at the time she hold. came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Yes, I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, fuck. What is this? Go! I'll get my gun! Fuck, though. Fuck, though, Lord. Oh, 
Jetzt habe ich nur, jetzt habe ich nur. Spawn helfen. Guter Schützer. Aber sein Sohn ist tot. about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Hardcore shit is that. Verschwinden wir von hier. Okay. Da sind wir schon in Macon. Liquor Store, Security Hardware, Fashion Outlet. Well, this is as far as we're going, and it's far enough. And this is wieder dunkel. Dämmerung. The drugstore. Look. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Oh, noch mehr Walker. Die sind auch echt überall, ne? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. Whoa, chill the fuck out, no, lady. We're fine. just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Glenn. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yep, yes, we did. Life. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. 
We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no <laughs> bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some over the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We reason with him. I need to the end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never no, mind. Than... She's not some snot nosed oh, toddler, sorry. okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. Oh, I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch oh. that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Oh, Jawohl, wer war das? Danke. Okay. Just great, thanks. Sagte ihm, er try to get him down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Durch das Büro, wir schaffen das irgendwie noch was zu suchen. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. 
fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. <clears throat> There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, dann würde ich sagen, machen wir hier mal einen Cut. Und see you next time.